Hey guys, it's me, Comasan. Welcome to another weekly FNAF news. We got a ton of new information. We got Mort news, 10th anniversary news, and fan game news this week. So let's just begin with the Mort. So apparently, the YouTube's Five Nights at Freddy's movie wave set is now available. It includes the figures of Mike, Vanessa, Yellow Rabbit, Doug, and Steve Waglin, William Afton, plus he's a Bloom Boy, Abby, Mike, and Springtrap, and on a pin set of Chica, Mike, Freddy, Abby, and Foxy. So all the FNAF U2's movie wave is now available. You can now buy it. I'm pretty sure. So if you're very interested in this, go ahead and buy some of this stuff. I don't know how expensive it is, but it's pretty cool that we got some more FNAF movie new morts. We also got some more U2's news. So u has teased an upcoming Glamrock Freddy Beanie. It's kind of on the side a little bit on the left, so you, you can't really see it, but it looks very cute. It looks based off the fun time, uh, not not fun time, Glamrock Freddy Plusy from the game. So it's very cute looking. I can't wait to see it like in full picture, but it, it, it is teased. So we just got to wait until we see more of this beanie, but it's going to be pretty cool, I bet. Okay, so we got some Funko nukes now. So Funko will officially announce the Will and Wave of productions in the upcoming weeks. Individual, individual figures from the Hero World line are also included releasing at five below. So coming very soon, we got Action Figure, Wheeland, Glamrock Chica, Waxian Wolf, Eclipse. That's an Action Figure. Those three are all Action Figures. Just I didn't put Wheeland at the end of Waxian Wolf. We got some now pops. We got Wheeland, Glamrock Chica, and Wheeland, Waxian Wolf. So now they have Action Figure and a pop. Uh, also, we got a pop of Eclipse. So all three of them. Uh, we also got plusies of e uh, Wheeland Sun and Wheeland Moon. So all those animatronics are going to be getting. Action figures, Pops, and Sun and Moon are both going to be getting exclusive uh, Wooland Plusies. And the uh, Hero Wave includes Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. So I don't know what these are going to look like. I hope they do justice to Wooland, Awaxi, and Chica because those are pretty cool animatronics and they're very unique with how damaged they are. So I hope they do well. And I don't know what the Hero World figures are like. Uh, tell me what they are like in the comments. Or I might just do some resorts. But that is all from Funko. Funko has been not sending a lot of morts, but there's probably a reason. Also, we got some... The Hex stuff is officially out. So the Hex have released the Withered Chica and Withered Golden Freddy Plusies. I know you guys might be saying, well, is Springtrap... Springtrap would be at a later date because there's something that went wrong with it. With uh, the Plusy or something. So, yeah, Springtrap had to be delayed. But right now, we got Withered Chica... And with Lord Golden Freddy, so they're pretty cute looking. They're probably gonna be like fifty dollars, but they are finally out. And we just gotta wait for Spring Trap now. If you, I try to enter a giveaway for like a uh, Spring, like a uh, Spring Bonnie one, but I did not win. I don't have the money for these plusies, guys. They're so expensive. We also got some FNAF movie news. So Walmart has re-released the Five Nights at Freddy's on DVD with a new couple featuring Mr. Cupcake and just Mr. Cupcake. So. I'm not crazy about this look. It's pretty generic. It's pretty boring. And I don't like boring movie colors. Because you know you got so much stuff you can do with this. And so this put the cupcake on that with, that says piece of cake by Steve Waglin. So you know. William Afton secretly saying that. You know, it's kind of like dark in a little bit way. But that's the box cover. If you want to go pick it up at Walmart. Uh, I don't have the DVD. I need to. Because it is my favorite movie of all time. I know FNAF Nord. Likes the FNAF movie. I know Shockwell, but like, honestly, this couple is kind of whack. I wish it was more creative and just instead of just throwing a character on the screen, like it's, it's something like those cartoon movies do. Like, um, I think DreamWorks does that. Yeah, they do. And it's, it's just very boring, but maybe that's the point trying to be like mimicking them, trying to be like, Hey, this is a kid's movie when it's actually a PG-13 movie you now. So that's all for the movie news. Not a lot, but you get some. We also got some etc stuff so this is stuff that's not really like game stuff like that so the season three of docker's the fnaf show will be released in september who would you like to see get interviewed for the show so docker does this thing where he interviews like voice actors i think he did scott maybe one time and he, and he actually is gonna get some people from the fnaf movie to do some interviews so this is gonna be really cool i really love when uh docker gets to interview these like voices voice actors and stuff like that because it's it, it brings that experience like we get maybe we may get some you know information stuff but it's honestly just down the hill what they're talking about and stuff like that and it's Darko who doesn't love Darko I love watching the dude so more of him interviewing very popular characters like people that's gonna be cool so 
We also got some stuff that's happening today. I might stream it at 4 o'clock if I can get this video out as fast as possible. So John FNAF will be releasing an exclusive interview with Steel Wool Studios on May 31st, which is today. I record these on every Fridays and like in the morning, like 11. Not really morning, more like afternoon. But this may have some information, maybe some future FNAF games or something. But we got to watch that. For I'm going to be watching it. I know that. Maybe streaming it. I don't know. But I'm very intrigued what he's going to ask. I don't really watch John FNAF's content. Maybe I should. He's a Philly FNAF YouTuber, so I don't really watch those a lot because I kind of just have a basic understanding of the story. But that is coming out today. I'm going to be watching it. So it's going to be cool. I, I might tell you guys or I might stream it. So we got some big, big news. So also Binder, President of Strike One Entertainment, speaks on the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's and future endeavors for the franchise. So... There's a lot of stuff to read, so TV, Five Nights at Freddy's, FNAF continues to grow, and we're, with the sequel to the film planned for next year, we can tell, what can you tell us about the licensing program, the properties looking ahead? I'll be said, I am confident in the pace at which the program is growing and with partnerships we have in place. Our client, Scott Cotham, has never been in a hoy, and I have always made creative and content decisions based on what he believes would be most respectful to the fans and on what would they bring them closer to the property to enhance their enjoyment of it. We are not trying to win the largest license list award, rather we are striving for the partnerships with profound passion for the brand and the fans award, which is good because you know, you want to give things that the fans want, you know. We are looking forward to the celebrating 10 years of Five FNAF this August. Introducing new games, new games, new games guys, and experiences over the 12, next 12th to 18th months, expanding the, the international reach of the franchise and ramping up towards what we anticipate will be incredibly strong back half of 2025. The brand is at pace where this is a still a tremendous amount of room to add new fans, but will we collectively ensure that the day one fans are honored, excited, and nurtured? So, big, big news that if you were paying attention, so in the next 12 to 18 months, new games, new stuff is going to be ramping up, and we're going to have a very big, like, large library at the end of 2025, like at the half of 2025. So, like, summer maybe summer and words maybe I'm, I'm i'm so i'm not i'm not good at you know seasons and times and like math and stuff but this is awesome and they're honoring the fans force which is awesome like you know you still got to give the new fans what they want but you also got to respect the og fans like me you know I, I i'm joking with that but like seriously that's a smart decision by scott and scott knows what he's doing so that's awesome to hear what i can't wait you know we also got some fan game news. We always love listening to fan game news. I wish uh, Johnny Blocks said more about new fan games, but he really covers like the big names with the Scott program. So we got some new gameplay for the living room level and the joy of coercion featuring Ignited Fo Foxy and a new remote mechanic. So I'll play the gameplay here. Honestly, I haven't watched it yet, so I gotta watch it in editing, but I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really, really cool. We also got more FNAF uh, uh, fan game news, so first look at the gift mechanic and the upcoming major update for Pop Goes Arcade. This, the update is planned to improve the general experience massively with the brand new features and tweaks. So I'm gonna put some gameplay here. I don't know what it looks like either because I gotta watch in editing, but I'm pretty sure it's good. I never played a Pop Goes game, so I don't know what it's like. Maybe a future F FNAF game I should play on the channel, but who knows. But now we got some other stuff for help wanted. So, Still War uh, Studios posted a, a new illustration of Sorkis Baby and Mr. Cupcake celebrating the fifth anniversary of Help Wanted. It might look like a normal image to the normal fan, but right behind it, it's a circus, and there is a theory that the next game is going to be about Fall Fest. Fall Fest, Fall Fest is like something that happened before Fred Bros Entertainment, and it was basically like a huge celebration, like 
hol on a Halloween or something like that. So it's very, very interesting. And that could play in with the Mimic's outfits that he has in the secret ending. So that's a pretty big teaser for Still War. And I love that they're making new art. I love when they, they, the artist who does the stuff for uh, Still War. It's very good. But that's all the news we have. We got a lot of epic news, a lot of stuff, a lot of big stuff. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I do this every Friday. So if you guys like the FNFDs, always come to me or Johnny Blocks. He does the same thing that I do. But he's probably better at it. But I try my best, you know. But I'll see you guys later.